Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. GRE, practicing, practicing to take the GRE, general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. This is a great source to help you get ready for the exam. It has, it has seven real exams. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 136, number 14. There are 15 quantitative comparison questions. QC stands for quantitative comparison. There are 15 of them in, the, in a set. This is number 14, the penultimate one. For those of you who do not know the word, uh, it doesn't hurt to look it up and learn it. Penultimate meaning sec second to the last, number 14. Let's take a look at it. The circle, they give you a picture here of a circle. The circle with the center O has a radius of 5. All right. This circle, we are told, has a radius of 5. So from here to here is 5, and then from here to here, of course, is 5. Or, if you wish, the, the diameter is 10. And then they give you a small triangle here. This, we are told, is 8. And what is the question asking? A B, C. They want us to compare the perimeter of ABC, the perimeter of triangle ABC, and what does perimeter mean? Perimeter means all, you add up all the, all the, for example, if you have a picture like this, the perimeter of this thing would be this side plus this side plus this side plus this side plus this side, this side, this side, that side, and this side. If you add up all the sides, that's called the perimeter, distance around the picture. In the context of a circle, in the context of a circle, one does not speak in terms of perimeter. The same concept in the in the context of in, in the context of circle is referred to as the circumference exactly. So this is a circumference. If it's not a circular concept, then one, one speaks in terms of perimeter, but it's the same concept. So they want you to find the perimeter of this of, of this triangle. In other words, they want you to find this side. Because if we find out that side, it's pretty simple. We add up this side is 10. Let me erase this and make it 10 so it's easier to see. The side A to C is 10. This is 8. What is this side? That's what we have to figure out. Let me do it here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna pick up this triangle and put it here. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and put it so that the BC is at the bottom. There's my BC. There we go. A to C is 10. A to B is 8. We want to find out this part. How much is it? Well, how can we do it? There are a couple of ways you can solve this thing. One is through the Pythagorean theorem, which goes like this. The square of this side plus the square of that side equals the square of that side. And therefore, x squared would be 100 minus 64. And x equals 4. x should not equal 4. It should equal something else than 4. This is not 16, this is 36. As soon as, I, as soon as I wrote 4, I realized that that did not make any sense. So that's one way of figuring out that x equals 6. How else could we have figured out the, what the missing side is? This, what you're looking at, is a very special kind of triangle. It is what is known as a 3-4-5 triangle. When a 3-4-5 triangle appears in the exam, very rarely they appear, uh, very rarely a 3-4-5 triangle appears as a 3-4-5 triangle. In this case, a 5, a 4, and this of course is 3. A 3-4-5 triangle, in, in, uh, a 3-4-5 is a very special kind of right angle triangle where 
three sides happen to be three consecutive numbers. There exists no other right angle triangle where the three sides are three consecutive numbers. There is no such thing as a 4, 5, 6 triangle. There is no such thing as 11, 12, 13 triangle. It doesn't exist. If you do 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, it won't work. 4 squared plus 5 squared does not equal 36. 25 plus 16 does not equal 36. There exists no other triangle where the three sides are three consecutive numbers. There is only one such triangle, a 3, 4, 5 triangle. But quite unfortunately, when the 3, 4, 5 triangle does appear in the exam, it appears incognito. It does not, incognito for those of you who do not know it, learn it, look it up and again learn it. It just means it comes in disguise. This is a 3, 4, 5 triangle incognito. Because what it is, is, let me erase this part here so we can actually, what this thing is actually, basically is 5 times 2. This is a 4 times 2. And therefore the missing side has to be, you see, three, 4, 5, so this is 3. 3, 4, 5. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, see? It's still the same triangle, except everything has been magnified by 100%. In other words, if you, if you want to think of this as a, 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 in a simplest, simplistic term, you draw a 3, 4, 5 triangle, a triangle with 3 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches, and 5 inches. You draw it on the piece of paper, I put it in the Xerox machine, and you magnify it by 100%. So whatever it was, now it's two, twice as large. It will still be the same triangle. It's still a 3, 4, 5 triangle, but the, but the size will be 6, 8, and 10. So it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, that's all. So the missing side here is 6. Let's finish this up and then I'm going to look in the clock in the back, see how I'm doing. I think I'm taking too much time. So that's a 6. So the perimeter of this thing is 6 plus 8, you see? 6 plus 8 plus 10. Oh, shoot. Blast it. So it's 18 plus 6 is uh, 24. What do we have in the second column? Oh, also 24. And the other column, they also give you 24, so the answer is C. That's all. Let me look at the clock in the back, just give me a second. That's it. I'm seven, min seven minutes into it, so I'm going to do a couple of more problems of a 3, 4, 5 triangle. But as far as this problem is concerned, it is done. Let's do one more 3, 4, 5 triangle. Let's do it here. Can you tell me what the missing side is here? It's a right angle triangle. This side is 21. That side is 35. Can you tell me what this side would be? You should, very first thing you should ask yourself, when you see a right angle triangle in the exam, just very quickly take a second to ask yourself, is there a 3, 4, 5 triangle? It only takes a couple of seconds to answer that question. In other words, can this be some multiple of 4 or uh, 3 or a 4? Answer is of course yes, because it has to be 3, 4, 5 triangle. 5 goes here, either a 3 or a 4. So okay, is this a, either a multiple of 3 or 4? Answer is yes, it's a multiple of 3. 3 times 7. So now we know it's times 7. Is this times 7? Yes, it is times 7. It's 5 times 7, you see? In other words, this is 4 times 7. The missing side is 28. I don't have to do anything. If, if you did not know this trick, and if you end up wasting your time in the exam, this is what you will end up doing. 35 squared equals 21 squared plus x squared. That will take you forever and ever. You don't have that kind of luxury. You don't have that kind of time. So that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle incognito. And this is how they always appear, except here it was not magnified seven times, there it is magnified only two times. So that's a, that's a 10, this is an 8, so that has to be 6. Once we figure out that that side is 6, we just add up the three sides, which comes out to be 24, which is, which is the perimeter of the, of, the, of the triangle ABC. And in the second column, we also have 24, so the answer is C. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to hire my services for personal private tutoring, or if you wish to purchase the solution manuals to any of the problems in this, in, in this book, uh, please go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, dot com, and send me an email and we'll talk. All right? Thank you.